holy crap. I didn't realize I talked so long in the other video. It was super long. So uh, I don't usually do this, but I'm gonna post two videos on the same topic because not everybody has 30 minutes to waste on a video, but I, I feel like I wanna go through this. So I'm gonna do it quick. Uh, so here is the quick, um, here's the quick ear pro review. So here we go. I'm gonna start out with the most popular. We've got the Howard Late Impact Sports. These are nice and compact. Oh, so there's another video basically exactly like this that's like 30 some minutes long probably. That has all the details. Um, more video, more shots. So if you're really interested in this video, uh, check that one out. If you just want a quick hit, check this one out. So I'll go into more detail in that other video, but I'll put this one together too. And this will just be a quick, quick rundown. So the Howard Layton Impact Sports, most common, pretty compact, forest green. They get on your head and they're kind of stiff and the padding's not that great, and they're kind of weird, but they work. Uh, I've had these forever, and they just keep working. Uh, battery life's pretty great, uh, because I think they have an auto shut off, or I just always shut them off, I'm not sure. Uh, they have 3.5 millimeter connection, if you care about hooking that, hooking up your phone or whatever, and listening to music while you shoot, um, and they work. You can get a rifle, cheek weld, all that stuff, they're pretty good. Uh, yeah, these ones, are the Peltor range guards. And they go on nicer, easier, are more comfortable. I think they look better, they're gray. Uh, the electronics are pretty similar. They're stereo, just like those ones are stereo. Um, and they're about the same price range. So Impact Sports about 40 to 50 bucks. These are about 40 to 50 bucks. Uh, I don't see any reason to get the Impact Sports over these ones. So you maybe you already have the Impact Sports. So I like, Sorry, I'm burping. I just, I'm drinking this coffee and it's making me burpy for some reason. So I don't see any reason for the impact sports over these. So I like, I like to have a lot of uh, electronic ear pro. I have one by my nightstand. I keep one in my range bag. I use, keep one in my car a lot of times. I'll use them for other various projects. So I have a bunch of them. So that's why I have all these ones. So these ones, I would say best bang for your buck. If you're looking for a mid range one, or if you just want to pick up a few of them, I would go for the Peltor range guards. I think they're great. We have some cheaper lower end models. These are the champions. These are about 20, 20 to 30 bucks, I think. Um, and they are stereo also, but you have to turn each side on individually. So the battery compartments are on one on each side. Uh, every other one, the battery compartments are on one side or the other side. And that doesn't make them imbalanced or anything. They don't, they, they feel fine as far as the weight's concerned. These are all, all these ones are pretty, all the kind of medium cheap range ones are all pretty much the same weight. So these ones are the cheapest. I'll get to them in a second. Uh, these are a little bulkier. They don't fold up as compactly. Uh, these ones are super compact. The the Peltor range guards. Uh, and these ones, I don't know. I don't, I don't see a reason for them. I bought them to test them because they were cheap and they, they kind of suck. So I don't, I don't think these are that great. Uh, but if you're on a tight budget, yeah, they're better than nothing. These ones, the Caldwells, they come in multiple colors and the, they turn on with a dial that's on the left side and they're pretty compact. They kind of taper down at the bottom here and they work. They work, all right. Uh, they're the tightest fitting on your head, uh, but they do come in pink. So I think maybe it's for smaller heads. My wife has like the smallest head uh, of anybody that I know and they're still tight on her. So these are pretty tight, but they're also the lightest of the bunch and they work all right. Uh, they're about 20 to 30 bucks too, but I would say spend the extra 20 bucks and get the Peltor range guards. Now we have on the high end, these also have a little LED that shows that they're on. Now on the high end, we have the MSA Supreme Pro X, uh, MSA Swords, they turn on just with a push button. These are all rubberized. These are the, these are gonna be the most durable, the most bomb proof of the bunch, waterproof. Uh, the electronics are the best quality um, of all of them and they have a little LED flashlight on here. So that's kind of nice for nighttime shooting if you wanna you know, get a little more light for reloading or looking at something. Uh, I thought it was kind of gimmicky, but actually it comes in pretty handy. It's not that bright, um, but it's better than nothing. Uh, the electronics are the best, they're tapered. 
Uh, these are the heaviest of the bunch, and these are the full camo edition multicam. Actually, I didn't know they were multicam. I just thought there's some generic camo, but they're multicam. So if you're a multicam whore like I am, hey, look at these. Um, these are 300 to 350 bucks. Bottom line, are they worth it over the $45 ish Peltor range guards? I think not at all. Uh, for the average casual user, which I would I would put myself in that category, the average user, uh, are they worth it? I don't think so. If you have money to burn, certainly, and they kind of hold uh, prestige. They're kind of the Gucci shooting uh, ear protection, though they're not the highest end. They're six hundred dollars. There's some that are like six thousand dollars. So these are definitely the high end, but there's there's ones that are way more expensive. So these work all right. Yeah, and. <laughs> Sorry, this is really weird, but the other video was just so long and I was like, oh, 30 minutes for an ear pro. If, if you really care about ear pro, watch it. Um, but then I was like, oh, well, if you don't care that much and you just want my my opinions at a quick quick hit, I would say in the $40 to $50 range, the Peltor range guards, I can highly, highly recommend. These are great. Uh, if you have money to burn, the MSA Supreme Pro Xs are better. Yeah, but I don't think they're $250 to $300 better. Uh, all right, so if you want more, Check out the other video and I'll put links to all this in the description below. If you have questions or comments or anything like that, just, yeah, hit it up. And sorry, this is kind of random to put two videos out, but it is what it is. Uh, and that video also, the other video has some ramblings at the end about my channel, about the giveaway, about um, a Fleur Scout TK that I'm going to be doing a review of in the future. So if you have questions about any of those things or you want to hear about them, watch the other video and go to the end of it. Uh, all right. Take care.